watching the first news hour debate on Times Now Super Prime Time. On our first news hour debate on punch counter punch tonight, we have Vinod Mehta and Lord Meghna Desai is with me in the studio. Good to see you, Lord Desai. Thank you very much. It's been a long time. Vinod Mehta, welcome. Uh, Meenakshi Hello. Reki represents the Hello. BJP tonight and Randeep Surjewala represents the Congress party. Thank you very much. Now, so the decision has been taken. It's Sonia Gandhi versus Narendra Modi. Sound. Sound. Is it, Ra Randeep? Sonia Gandhi versus Narendra Modi. Not Rahul Gandhi versus Narendra Modi. But the script being written and the stage being set by the Congress party, it appears, is the Congress president versus Modi not the Congress Vice President versus Modi. You know, these are, uh, is there, can I speak? Yes, yes. Yeah. These are figment of people's imagination. Shrimati Sonia Gandhi is the undisputed leader of the party. And Shri Rahul Gandhi is the youth icon for the party who guides uh, the Congress party's dialogue and, and, and the dialogue of progress and prosperity into the 21st century. There yeah. is no disconnect there, unlike uh, uh, Mr. Modi who has to retire both Keshubhai Patel and Shri Lal Krishan Advani forcibly to reach where he has reached. And even now, his leadership is unaccepted inside his own party across <laughs> states and across the national scenario. Uh, let's get, let's get uh, Meghna Desai's point of view on this. What do you think of it? What was happening today? Two repeated days. You know, Two repeated days, the focus is on Shehzada, Shehzada, Shehzada. In fact, if I play the tape of the number of times Narendra Modi says Shehzada yeah, in the see, course of today's speech, mm. it's very direct. So, with Sonia Gandhi coming out in Rahul Gandhi's defense? Absolutely. She is? Okay. Congress has only one decent campaigner and that's Sonia Gandhi. Okay. And it's been quite made clear. To begin with, Congress thought Rahul Gandhi will sort out Narendra Modi. Narendra you think Modi they're re rethinking that? Yes. Narendra Modi that. is a much better public speaker than Rahul Gandhi ever will be, at least in the next 10 years. So the mother has come to the defense of the son because she wants to ensure Congress victory. You she think realized, so? You think so? She has realized that she is the only weapon the Congress has got. So you now, now think it's Sonia Gandhi goes yeah. all gun blazing yeah. because she's giving covering fire to yeah. Rahul Gandhi. She can't, the Congress can't rest on the idea that Rahul Gandhi will somehow trounce Narendra Modi. Not in a month of Sunday. I, I, I get what so, you're saying. You know, Ra Sonia Gandhi won the 2004 election. Sonia Gandhi carried 2009. Okay. She is the only decent Congress campaign. They don't have any other public speakers. Well, of course they do. Come on. Well, they, they not, do. Not, not of the kind of quality of... You're saying Gandhi. Sonia Gandhi is the best public speaker the Congress can have. Yeah. And this is covering fire for Rahul Gandhi. Absolutely. Randeep Surjewal, I know you want to respond to that. Let's let everybody well, have their perspective on what's going on. She's a fantastic then, 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 then we are going to come back to you. By the way, this is what we are going to do tonight. What we are going to do, Vinod Mehta, is that we are going to actually factually go into four points which Sonia Gandhi raises. And if I can only have Meenakshi Lekhi's attention, she's getting a phone call, let's... But what we are going to do is we put Sonia Gandhi's claims to the test and then decide who's right and who's wrong. Vinod Mehta, before I get into those specifics, is Sonia Gandhi coming out in Rahul Gandhi's defense? Is this calibrated strategy in your view? Well, uh, Arna, I mean, I'm very surprised at what my friend Lord Meghna Desai has said. I mean, one of the many problems that the Congress party has is they have very, very bad campaigners. I mean, the Gandhi family, for all their virtues, are very poor public speakers. And then to add to that, you have uh, the prime minister, who is even worse than they are. So, I mean, Sonia, if the Congress is relying on Sonia Gandhi to see them through this election by rhetoric and by making very strong uh, campaign points, I, I think they are barking up the wrong tree. But Arnab, the more important thing is that you have just received the flavor of the 2014 election and how much you and I and the people of India might criticize the tastelessness, the crudity, of the campaigning, there is nothing we can do about this because these people will carry on. And in that context, can I say that Mr. Narendra Modi is the champion of tastelessness.
the congress has much to learn from mr narendra modi when it comes to crudity and tastelessness so and but they are catching up very fast well seem to be catching up very fast but i think the whole flavor of this 2014 election is going to get worse we are going to have name calling we are going to have invective we are going to have tastelessness and we are going to have crudity and i'm afraid mr narendra modi may be showing the way which way to go uh, well you know i i know what uh, meenakshi lekhi welcome i i okay i don't know if i if she is on the line by why the way you have called narendra modi the master author of crudity in this particular election you have done that and you stay by it so may i now begin the congress bjp part of the debate meenakshi lekhi can you hear me Meenakshi Lekhi, do I, I do I have the audio through to her? Well, I don't. Do you agree with what he said in the meantime? No, you see, the thing is, <clears throat> somehow sounds Indian sounds politics has convinced itself that everybody has to be polite. In American politics or British politics, people are always being very direct and very very hard hitting. You know, why why do Indian politicians think that in the, people can't attack Because each other? Because there's a certain hypocrisy to I the mean, manner you know, in which you I, know, mean, I, I certainly I, I would not be among those hypocrites. Yeah. Who believe? You know, there are a lot of hypocritical attitudes yeah. to it. I mean, everybody is watching this debate. As long as it doesn't come down to abuse and personal slander, yeah. you know, a, a, a high-pitched debate is perfectly all right. But in, in our country, unfortunately, Mr. Mehta, with the utmost respect to you, we seem to have a certain latent hypocrisy, which makes us feel: Look, can we have a very civilized debate? Can we have a very calm yeah. debate? I mean, yeah. as long as you stay yeah. away from slander, it personal abuse. <laughs> I think a tough election debate is what this country requires. Arnab. We should not run away from it, Mr. Arnab. Mehta. This But country Arnab. is changing. We no, we <laughs> can't have those. No. Let, let's have a straightforward Arnab. debate on issues, and that's what I want to have tonight. We not we not Mehta Meghna Desai responding to you, and then we'll no, get no, Minakshi no, Lekhi no, into the debate. Yes, civilized debate only Arnab. means what don't criticize Congress. Is of course what, 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 is that, civilized debate means don't criticize Congress. Of course, we want a debate about the issues. Of course, we want a debate about the issues. But what are we having? We are not having a debate about the But issues. <coughs> we are having a debate in name calling. Who can get into politics? Is Shezada. not academia. Yes, somebody says that T. Y. cannot become a, a prime minister see, of the see, country. See, politics Congress is not is saying academia. Congress is that Lata Mangeshkar's Bharat Ratna should be taken away because she has supported Modi. Are these But the you issues know, of politics? Is not academia. So neither do politics we have a debate on the issues, trade. but we just have politics a debate on cases. Politics is a rough trade, you know. We know. Look at the way Americans Arna. criticize Obama. Arna, I, I mean, fantastic news every day, one. day after day. Does he mind that? He just gives it But back. But it's not tasteless, Meghna. Come on, uh, come on. This is tasteless. This is, This is crude. <coughs> that doesn't matter. This is mere life politics. Real life politics is not played out in polite on the, circumstances. On the on the Sonia Modi face out, what we are going to do, Mr. Sojawala, is by, by, let's by see. All means. Let's see, Mr. Sojawala. Let's see if we can debate four points. Right? Let's have a po issue issue by issue debate. We divorce the rhetoric. We go by the fact. And the first point, which Sonia Gandhi said, Minakshi Lekhi, she says that there is only talk of development in Madhya Pradesh. Let's. Let's put the challenge to you. You can counter Sonia Gandhi if you want, and then we'll get Mr. Sujawala to respond. Point number one: Sonia Gandhi says there is it's rubbish all this talk of development in Madhya Pradesh. She said children are dying due to malnutrition. There are no doctors in hospitals. <coughs> there is no proper treatment available. And Miss Lekhi, she's right, because by the Madhya Pradesh government's own statistics. Submitted in the assembly, twenty-one thousand four hundred and nine children die of malnutrition in 2012. The death toll, on an average, Miss Lekhi, is a shocking fifty-eight, fifty-eight infants a day. So she takes you on. On fact, do you have any response? We have four such points tonight. Yes. Yes, I. <coughs> I have a response, and I think I will dig out the data of 2004, and would request you put up the statistics when the Madhya Pradesh at that time was under the Congress government. From that time to this time, what development has happened? Now, all the mess that has been created in 67 years cannot be corrected in eight to ten years, but the strides which Madhya Pradesh has made in these ten years is what needs to be noted. And when Madam Gandhi talk, Madam Nehru talks about Madhya. 
Madhya Pradesh. I think she would do well to discuss other states which are being governed by Congress Party, including the ones yes, which yes, have always yes. had a higher developmental rate, whether it's Andhra Pradesh or it's uh, uh, Kerala, which have always been better, and yet they are showing downfall in their uh, 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 in all these fields. So I think we can discuss that. No, no, Miss uh, Lekhi. Uh, Miss Lekhi, Miss Lekhi, go no, no, go no. to point number two. I'm she says point number two. No, one second. You, one minute. You see, that's the problem. When she says she's she's in Madhya Pradesh, she Anna, says so I, many I'm, children I'm, die I'm per day. I'm to respond to her. Okay, you want to respond to her on that point? Go ahead, and then then I'll put a question to you. Go ahead. Yeah, Anna, it's very well to say compare it 50 years behind, compare it 20 years behind, 10 years. People of the state have given to Shri Shivraj Chauhan. And you have given those shocking figures. I have not produced those. And if I start quoting the school dropout rate, the malnutrition rate of women, how women are anemic, how many children actually are dropping out of schools, how mm -hmm. as to more than 60 no, no, so you are shocked. colleges do not So you are shocked at the numbers? Compared to what? No, no, you are it's shocked at the numbers? Compared to what? No, my daughter, so, so Mr. Surjewala, are you shocked? What? One minute, Mr. Surjewala, are you shocked at the Compared numbers? Compared to what? What's it? Mr. Surjewala, are you and, shocked at the numbers? And, and Arnab, 13 Are you shocked at the numbers, Mr. Surjewala? 13. Are you shocked at the Madhya Pradesh numbers? Arnab, no, no, are you are, shocked at the Madhya Pradesh numbers on malnutrition? No, no, are you shocked? Answer the question. Are you shocked at the Madhya Pradesh numbers on malnutrition? Are you shocked, Mr. Surjewala? Absolutely. And I are you, I, do you feel, do you feel, one minute, follow up question. Do you feel, one minute, Mr. Surjewala, do you feel. facing a Lokayukta pro. No, 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 what's that? Before you move to Lokayukta, do you feel that a government which produces these kind of shocking figures, where 27% of the children, as per CAG report, are malnourished, a state like Madhya Pradesh, do you feel that such a state has no right to govern the people of that state? Do you feel so, Mr. Sujewal? Arnab, I think let me cut no, the you, figure of malnourished. Do you feel so, Mr. Sujewala? Is there Do you feel so, Mr. Sujewala? To it, one out of every four children. Yes, Fifty percent of or nearly if nearly fifty percent of children and women are anemic. If the school dropout ratio is, is one of the highest figure, in Mr. the country, Surjewala? Mr. Surjewala, if attack and assault on women. No, no, no. One point. One point of malnutrition, Mr. Surjewala. I find with with dexterity, with dexterity, with no, with with, no with, with absolute dexterity, Mr. Surjewala. With the deft, being Mr. Surjewala. Do you say to no, this this is, is, Mr. Surjewala, you know why? I'll I'll answer you. No, no. One second, Minakshi. One minute. You know, Mr. Sujewala, with the dexterity that only an experienced politician can have, you have tried to avoid my question, which was the following, that since Sonia Gandhi totally attacks the Madhya Pradesh government, do you believe a state government which has such horrible malnutrition statistics should not govern? You avoided it because you know why you avoided it. I'll tell you now why you avoided it. No, I you said avoided that figure it. You, no, I'll tell you why you avoided it. No, one sec. I because the figure. It. One minute. Figure one minute. Because you avoided it because, Mr. Sujewala, the figures from your state, Congress ruled in Haryana, are 75% worse than Madhya Pradesh. You avoided it because SM it is, is much worse. Congress is rule is much worse Pradesh. than Madhya Pradesh. You avoided it because Andhra Pradesh, is, which has been a Congress rule state, the percentage of malnourished children is almost double that of Madhya Pradesh. So, Mr. Surjewala, look within. We will question you on fact. Vinod Mehta says, have a debate on fact. We put those facts, and the facts are that all of you are on shallow ground, and Mr. Surjewala. Do you concede that point? Let me correct tonight. you, and let me correct you, Arnab. Haryana has one of the finest child nutrition ratios and one of the best ratios in India in terms of, uh, of uh, health of women in terms I'm of i am talking about malnourished delivery, children in terms of sonia gandhi mortality, spoke about malnourished in children in terms of school dropout sonia gandhi uh, spoke so about I malnourished think children you look at haryana you know, sonia know, gandhi the spoke national the best, record the, the national record of malnutrition of children 
is a very shocking one. In the state is among the best. In, in world terms, India does very badly on malnourished children. 47% are malnourished. Now, it's no good pretending that one is another. You know, why for 67 years, nothing very much has been done on malnourished children? Come on, that is the question we are facing. So, question number two. Vinod Mehta, I'll come to you. I just want to tonight, for the first time, I want to go point by point on the speech and I want to point out the hypocrisy on both sides. Point number two, Randeep Surjewala. Sonia Gandhi says that 13 of Madhya Pradesh's ministers indicted by the Lokayukta, what steps have been taken against it? She's absolutely right, Meenakshi Lekhi. She's absolutely right. No action taken. No, she's complete. not right. No, com no, no, she's there are child. Right. She's, she's not right. Well, how? She's completely right. I'll tell you how. 